So there's the structure of carbon monoxide. Let's um, figure out the formal charge of the two atoms. Okay, so formal charge, help me out, is the... Very good. Okay, number of valence electrons minus... One half. One half. It's up there, guys. So. Bonding electron. Minus the non-bonding electron. Okay, so how many valence electrons does carbon normally have? Come on, you guys. Bonding electrons, in this case? Six. Two, four, six, right? And non-bonding electrons. So four minus three minus two. Right? So what's the formal charge on carbon? Negative one. So since carbon monoxide is uncharged, what would you expect the charge to be on oxygen formally? Plus one. Let's just make sure that's the case. So formal charge equals what? Good job, guys. Number of valence electrons minus one half the bonding electron minus the non-bonding electron. So oxygen normally has how many electrons? Minus three or six. Six minus two. So is that the case? Six minus three minus two. Six minus five. Everybody okay with it? So again, I think you have to be given the structure to be able to do these things. If not, you're, you're finding it during the point in time when you're building the structure. Any questions on this type of problem?